tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi friends, this tutorial is about this command and we're slightly overdoing this command because the regular usage is, as you can see at the bottom left, extract the currently selected faces from the shell. So that's what it's good for, but we're, we're already exaggerating this and, uh, in order to create a new geometry which you might find interesting. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, um, if you don't see this, polygon modeling is, is this tab. And if you don't find the command, it's under Edit Mesh and it's all the way down here. It's called Xteract. It's not Extrude. Extrude is much more used in polygon modeling. Okay, uh, we do this. We create this object here and the cone. And here in the attribute editor, we want to add some more subdivisions in the height. And now I can jump to it with a key F. This is the object I have. Now, uh, right mouse click face because we need to select faces. And I'm gonna select these faces here nothing special really and now I invoke this command here. And I see manipulators and I'm interested in the one which well points out away from the geometry. So that's what it does and this is the usual way to use this command. It just extracts this part from the rest of the geometry and it puts it in a different shell. So actually we now have two shells. This one including these two parts, top and bottom, and the middle one. But uh, when we move this inside, can you see what's happening? Isn't this nice? And we go to right mouse button, object mode, and we delete this one, and we only have this one. Of course, we have to texture and shade it nicely, but there are experts who do this much better than I can. Okay, uh, if you do this process with other things, uh, for example, with uh, a torus, interesting too. And uh, you can change, for example, these things here. Deselect those. I don't know what's coming out of it, but we can always try. The blue one points out. Can just move it in, right mouse click, delete this one, and then I have this, well, sort of pipe. Where does it come from? It comes from a torus with these little pokey things. File thing, a sphere, and face again. And for example, actually we can go to the one of the front or side views here and select what well, just these here. And back to this one, extract command, we extract things to the inside. Let's have a look how they develop here. And now they <laughs> turn around really nice. I love this way of overshooting here and creating interesting geometry. This, this one here, nice little thing. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.